So apparently 2K has reverted the adrenaline patch to the momentum spam dribble where players were momentum spamming and losing adrenaline very quickly. Now all you spam dribblers can rejoice. Everything is back to normal. But is that a good thing? or 2k we finna get into all the details drop a like and drop a sub if you can i want to reference this first tweet from swante he says 2k reverted adrenaline with like 25 exclamation points let's go crying face emoji w hashtag Close mouths don't get fed. And let's sit on that for a little while because it's good to see that the 2K community still has a voice. Now, I'm not sure how many of you viewers really want to see people spam dribbling. Let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below. But just the idea of the 2K community voicing their frustrations and creating some change is always a W. And that brings us back to our next tweet sent out by Kai. He says, they reverted the adrenaline patch and yet still think they don't be touching ish and putting it back to normal when people notice i don't think 2k fully realizes how much people are connected to the game if you play the game every single day you're gonna notice the slightest bit of change casual players who play like once a week may not notice these types of changes so when 2k patched the momentum spam dribble basically taking an adrenaline boost bar eliminating you from spamming that momentum dribble the 2k community or at least the cop side of the 2k community or dribble head side of the 2k community was in an uproar because 2k made the change without a announcing that change and some players are like well 2k did tell us because they seen this bullet point in one of the patch notes you see on the bottom it says resolved an issue with adrenaline boost occasionally displaying the incorrect number remaining that's such a vague and broad bullet point where that could kind of stand for anything so that doesn't necessarily cover the idea of 2k further limiting people that like to dribble out there. Mike Wang was asked multiple times if gameplay has been changed and Mike Wang consistently says we have not touched gameplay. But surely the idea of you being able to momentum spin and then one patch to the next no longer being able to momentum spin absolutely shows that the developers do touch the game. But why the lack of transparency? If you make a gameplay change, announce it to the player base. The 2K community will appreciate the connection between players the game and the devs if you guys haven't noticed the 2k community is always going to disagree with certain portions of the game no matter what no matter how good or how bad things are but transparency shows integrity very quickly comment below does 2k have integrity i know a lot of players first answer is like oh hell nah 2k got no integrity they just want your money but i'm a veteran of 2k and seeing the changes that they've made although they've been baby steps they are headed in the right direction as far as 2K maintaining a certain connection with the 2K community and also addressing some of the 2K community's players' grievances. For instance, reverting the adrenaline patch. That shows, hey, 2K made a mistake and they fixed that mistake. But I'm sure all of us players would have liked to see 2K announce that they made that fix. Maybe even say something like, hey, it wasn't intentional, but we fixed it. Because what ends up happening for us as 2K players, we start wondering what else are they touching without telling us? Big pause, by the way. When you start noticing that you're not getting nearly as many steals or your shot is off, or you can't finish as well as you did before the day prior, then we start to think 2K, here we go again making hot fixes without being transparent and telling the community about it. So although 2K has come a long way from previous versions of 2K as far as maintaining that connection with the community and making the proper fixes, we still got a super long way to go. I mean, can we get a game that's actually complete on the release? Patches have become commonplace, and if you're too young to notice, let me tell you, the game used to not receive many patches throughout its annual cycle. Now we're getting somewhere above 10 patches per year. 2K devs always getting inside the game and making some sort of hotfix, changing sliders, making us players feel something like guinea pigs out there. All the while, we're here buying boosts, creating new bills, dumping a ton of VC, dumping a ton of IRL money into the game. A game that's not fully complete upon its release. Y'all let me know your thoughts about that. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys are looking for players to run with on 2K23, join our Discord. The link for Discord is in the description below. And don't forget to drop a like and drop a sub on your way out. I'll catch you guys on the next video.
easier 